begged him. You folk like they I would have been on stage and they would have said you photoshopped it. <laughs> We yeah, literally, um, people aren't, literally the internet, the reason I disabled my comments and likes for so long is because these kids click on a video and before they even formulate their own thought, they scroll down to the comments because they read what the majority of people are saying so they can formulate their opinion because they don't know how to think for themselves because the idols that they're following are fake idols, false prophets. It's all a lie, brother. I'm literally like the guy in the industry trying to tell all of the fans it's a lie. Your favorite social media star is fake. And I'm not scared to say that. Yeah. It's all a business. They're all fake. They're all actors. They literally get their validation. Like there's this one person who talks about me on the internet so fucking much that if he spent less time with my you know, genitals in his mouth and he spent time making love to his wife, he might have a healthy relationship at home and not be a 40 year old bitch who talks about little kids to put money in his pocket to give himself relevancy. They're pussies, bro. They're pussies. Me and Show Luciano, aka Lip Poppy, are here with God in our hearts to expose these fakes. I ain't I don't have to expose these fakes. They're gonna expose themselves in the future. I promise you, next time I see any of these pussies on your behalf, I'm going to look, look at them in their face and say, Hey, you a bitch, you're a pussy, you lie to the world on a daily. These people fake their entire lives, bruh. One of the people who runs the biggest news channel on YouTube owns one of the biggest groups on YouTube. He does his news in a biased way. For example, imagine if I ran a news channel, but I own Team 10. But I'm reporting negative news on the other side. Don't you think that's corrupt? Yeah, obviously. I know inside information, bruh. This is all a game. This industry is fake as fuck, bruh. Damn. It's fake. It's fake. Somebody said, nah, I ain't even gonna say what somebody said. You got anything else, my brother? I start posting my first content today and basically the content I post is stuff that's representative of my, my, my message. So I'm no longer a daily vlogger because what being a daily vlogger is on YouTube is being hungry for attention these days. Go through your subscription feeds and look how desperate the titles are. Look how far people have to go to get people's attention and look how if somebody does something positive every day, they'll get no views and no one will talk about it. The second they do something negative full of drama, everyone's talking about it and it gets the most views. Kids don't know why they want views these days. Kids don't know why they want money. They're being led because the people who are leading the kids don't even know why they're doing it. They think by continuing to get views and put money in their pocket, they're doing good. They know no better. So no longer will I post daily vlogs. No longer will I post bullshit content that I don't believe in just to post something out to get attention for that day to stroke my fucking ego. I'm working behind the scenes on my events, on my motivational speaking tour, on my books. When I post on YouTube, it's because the creative artist in me wanted to post something. That's it. So today I post my first video with Lit Poppy. Saturday I post the official music video for Lit Poppy's original song. Next week I, I release the remix that I did with Lit Poppy. Now mind you, Show Luciano aka Lit Poppy is a guy who came up to me outside of Drake's uh, club that he rented out that night and said I was born, he said I was born in South Central, I don't want to die in South Central, put me on your stage tomorrow. This is a guy who grinded for two years not knowing how he was going to get another dollar in his pocket and now he's on my team. God is the greatest man. If anything came out of July 15th, I took a brother. He's now a brother of mine named Show Luciano. And now I'm going to make sure he signs a multi-million dollar record deal. I'm going to make sure his songs go diamond. I'm going to make sure he never has to worry about how he's going to feed his family again.
happening because July 15th didn't happen. And I don't think you even recall, uh, who, I don't think you know who I am. Um, but uh, a couple of years ago, I was actually supposed to fly out with you because I was going to fly out with Daniela and stuff. She sort of like was going to hire me, but then unfortunately, you know, the thing happened with Dollar. Rest in peace, yeah, dollar dollar bills. Yeah. Hey, all, all I'm going to tell you, brother, all I'm going to tell you is in life, whether you're looking at your own life. So what do you want to do in life? What is your career path? Honestly, probably make documentaries. Okay, now listen to this. You might think that this is the year you have to make documentaries. And if it doesn't happen this year, you failed. God might not want you to be the documentarian you want to be for 10 years from now. That don't mean you quit and stop trying because you fail. That means you grind hard for 9 years and on your 10th year you're finally going to reap the rewards from what you've been sowing and planting. So even when you look at my life, be like, yo... He spent a year in his basement doing nothing. In seven days, he came out. He did all that shit. And that was his first try. And they had to call in a bomb threat to stop him. Imagine what he's going to do in a year from now. Two years from now. When I was talking about the Staples Center, all the companies I was working with said, Hey, yo, can't you do this in a year or six months so we have time to plan? I said, nah. I said, nah. I got a point to prove to myself and to God I'm doing this on the dates I want it to. So whenever you're looking at something that hasn't happened, be patient. J. Cole used to camp outside of Jay-Z's Rock Nation studios every single day. When Jay-Z finally approached him and J. Cole tried to hand him his mixtape, Jay-Z looked at him dead in the eye and said, this is not how you do it. J. Cole, two years later, after making it onto A Star Is Born, had a song, had a lyric on God's gift that said, Jigga wouldn't even take my CD when he see me two years later, bitch, we made it on, on to the blueprint. Because he didn't give up, brother. Failures happen. Failures are a part of success. Michael Jordan got cut before he became the greatest player of all time. You have to fail in order to succeed. The only difference is I ain't scared to show the world my failures. In the same way, I wasn't scared to show my shirt off when I was overweight and said, one day, I'm going to be sexy as shit. 90 days later, I was shredded. We all have the power to manifest where we want to be. Don't listen to the devil telling you otherwise. If you believe it, you could see it. I believed I would have a conversation with J. Cole and that's why I could see it and that's why it's going to happen, brother. I promise you. I promise you. That's the thing. I titled my video How I Met J. Cole. I talked about how I met him five times. All of a sudden, everyone's like, but you didn't meet him. Bitch, the title's called How I Met J. Cole. In the video, I talked about how I met him five times. Did I say how I met him in 2018? These people want to see you fail. That's why Drake isn't on Twitter, isn't on Instagram. Imagine if Drake replied to every single bozo loser who smokes hookah with his friends in his mom's basement every single day and does nothing but criticize Drake's lyric. Drake would, wouldn't be taken seriously. My problem is I reply to bozos who are going to do nothing with their lives because they don't believe in God. I believe in God and God's message. God has a plan for me, a purpose. I'm living in it every single day. No one can stop that message from surviving. I love you, brother. Likewise, bro. I love you. Of course, man. And I hope you stick around since you stuck around since 2012 and you see what's going to happen in the next five years for my life and my family's life. You got to understand, I started this shit in 2011 before any of these people, all these people who hate on me now used to look up to me when I was on YouTube in 2011. I created the fucking blueprint. I made it to the top. I paved these ways. I'm at the top now looking at it saying, oh, this shit's bogus. What the fuck that I did? Because I was just as fake as them. It's full of sellouts, bro. It's full of sellouts. 
The reason Dosa Fusi used to be so successful is because I was the one YouTuber who instead of holding up a camera pretending like I was happy, was able to pick up the camera and be like, I'm depressed and suicidal. The only difference is now I'm not on medications. I pray five times a day. I meditate three times a day. God is with me at all times and I'm happy. The reason I'm not replying to any of these bozos is because all that's going to do is put more money in their pocket when they try to capitalize on what I say to tell their audience that I'm a liar because they know I'm powerful enough to take them down. I have secrets in this industry that can take so many people down, but that's not my prerogative. So what are they going to do? Let's continue shifting the narrative to make him seem like a crazy person. But here's what's beautiful, brother. The people they're preaching to are people I don't need to worry about. Because the people who come up to me in person, there was a kid who I met at the J. Cole concert wearing my hat and my shirt. And when I went up to him and I said, brother, pray for me that I get on stage today. He looked at me dead in the eye and he said, Yusuf, the only reason I'm at this concert is to see you make it come true. He doesn't go home and say, fuck Fusi, he dreamed big and then didn't do it. He said, fuck. And he started praying on hoping that it happens for me later in life. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, Bro, there's two energies in this world. There's God's energy and there's the devil's energy. I'm on God's side. I don't give a shit of anybody else on any other side because I fear no man but God. I respond to no man but God. I talk to no man personally now but God. You don't ever have to explain or justify yourself to no person. So if the only reason people are upset is because I said in my life, Ho, oh, I will move out the country if I don't make it to J. Cole and I'll leave YouTube. Those people, instead of obsessing over my life, need to look at themselves in the mirror the day after Michael Jackson's birthday and say, I need to have a conversation with the man in the mirror. What the fuck am I doing? Yusuf told the world he's going to make it to J. Cole's stage, and I don't even tell the world that I want to have a regular minimum wage job. What the fuck am I doing with my life? I'm trying to inspire people, bro. I'm trying to tell people that no matter how far you are in life, no matter how bad you fell, you're a rose. Inspired by the rose that rose from the concrete, life can stomp on us all at once. We have the capacity to keep going and keep growing. Everyone has the ability to change. If I failed on my first failure, brother, I wouldn't have made it past the first week of my YouTube career. It's all it is. People can take it how it want, how they want it. People can deliberate on this, talk about this, say Yusuf's crazy, whatever you want. That's fine. You're spending your time judging my life when you can spend even two seconds judging yours. Because I'm good. I got a girlfriend that loves me. I got a mom and dad I FaceTime every morning. I got a family that supports me. I got great people in my life. Notice I didn't even mention money because money doesn't mean shit, bro. I lost $350,000 the second the bomb threat happened on July 15th. And guess what I did the next morning? I got on my knees and I said, Alhamdulillah. The other day, $30,000 randomly appeared in my PayPal because I got paid for something. I hit up every single friend I've ever promised money to. Now my PayPal says zero. Wow. Money don't mean shit. It don't. It don't. It's not going to make you happy. The same way views aren't going to make you happy. These kids these days think that somebody is special based on how much Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada they're wearing, how much money they have in their pockets, and what their YouTube subscriber and view count says. It's fucking sick, man. It's because these parents at a young age when their baby starts crying, instead of looking at the baby and saying, baby, what's wrong? They're handing them an iPad and teaching them how to use YouTube. Our cell phones are fucking us up, bro. I was depressed for years because I was obsessed with my cell phone. When I listen to my motivational speeches, you know what it says? 
Because of our cell phones and social media, we can go through as much pain in a single day as humans without social media used to be able to go through in a lifetime. You shouldn't be able to pick up your phone and read how many people hate you, read about the killings going on in this world, see the tragedies, see the negative shit. It's corrupt, bruh. Literally, the population is... You know when a rapper says, I'm woke? Population is asleep, bruh. They don't see it. They don't see it. They're asleep. Because society puts you in your regular job at a... Listen, they put us in schools at a young age. They make us get a job to pay off the schools. We work our entire lives and lose family time just to be able to die one day and be like, I hope I don't have any debt that's going to be passed on to my children before they die. We're living in a system that's structured for us to live and die without fulfilling our purpose. Our purpose in life is to do what God brought us here on earth to do. I know my purpose. The only thing anybody else should be worried about is what the fuck theirs is. Everyone has a purpose. Everyone has been brought on this earth because God has a thing for them. God has a purpose for them. Why are they here on this earth? Those of you laughing, bro, laugh all you want. You're still going to be that same sucker laughing behind the IG live because you're spending your energy listening to me. You could be spending this time putting money in your pocket, but you're spending watching the words coming out of my mouth to tell me why it ain't true. Homie, why don't you do something about your damn life? Do you get it? Do you get it? You're self-sabotaging your damn selves. Something somebody says in a negative way towards somebody else doesn't do anything except bring it right back to their lives. These little children are growing up to be haters. They know no better.